Hi, my name is Chad Adams. I work with Skelton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is our fourth video in our text parsing series. In this example, we're going to talk about pattern count. Pattern count is going to return the number of times the, the search string um, is in the text you feed it. So let's take a look. Um, under my text, search string, I'll start with a single letter, letter A, and we can see it's in there six times. Okay, let's do something a little easier to pick out. I'll say how many times is letter J in there? We get two, once for John, once for Jane. I can also do um, any number of strings. So I could do dough and get the result two. I could do green and get the result two. But I could also do green with the carriage return right after it, and I would only get one because I get green, carriage return here. This green does not have a carriage return after it. So pattern count is going to tell me how many times the string that I feed it is in the text block that I'm, I'm asking it to search. Position is going to tell us how many, how many characters from the left the search string is given the other parameters, the start and the occurrence. Let's take a look see an example. We'll tell it our text block. What we're going to look for, in this case we're going to look for a space. Where I want it to start at, one being the very first character, and which occurrence I'm interested in. We'll also put one there. And so what this is going to tell me, five, is that this space right here, the first one from the left, is the fifth character in this text block. If I tell this that I want to start at two, then I'm still going to get five because it's the fifth character in this text block. It's not the fifth character from my starting spot. This just tells me in the text where to start from. So if I take this and I tell it to not start until I get to 6, for example, then I might use, um, you know, I'd see 13, which is the location of the second one here. Okay? I can also do that the other way around. I can start from the beginning until I want the, um, get the first occurrence gives me 5. If I do the second occurrence here, then that's again going to return this second space there, and I would get 13. So position is going to give me how many or, or how many digits from the left the item I'm asking for is for the given occurrence. So you might use this in conjunction with say pattern count which will count all my spaces but this would tell me where how many digits from what this last space right down here is I can see it's 59. 